30 car, don't know where to start, I'll show you. Twin power turbo. Twin power turbo. Yo, so what's up, fellas? Fire. What oh up? What up, long time no see. Long time no see the freaking Comica came out. I heard we got a, uh, we got a BMW car from in the shop. From I have no words. Yeah. I have no words. It's hard to have words with so much lawn care going on, you know what I'm saying? Landscape artists. You know, technicians. Came with these plates. Oh, wow. So, we're gonna do a full detail on this, huh? What's oh, this guy up? Look at this guy. Excuse me? Guys, keep it quiet out there. <laughs> Sergeant. Yes, we finally have a camera on us. Yes, I was gonna go look for him. I thought he got lost. He He's got using lost. a new mic. He <laughs> got lost in the trenches. Nick, get on in here and give me a hug. Yeah. All right, yeah, cool guys. This is why he's behind the camera. Yeah. Wow. He, 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 I, I don't know that he could have done that two months ago. <laughs> oh yeah, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they all start. Man, Jason got a haircut. Right, we're just we're just rocking it out. Right? Who's this guy? Who's this dude? All right, so we have a 2014 BMW. What model is this? It's got the D, guys. Look at that. Stands for diesel. 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 If you guys look at the back, the seats aren't that bad, the interior's not that bad, but for anybody that does own a BMW, why does BMW always smell like Crayola or always smell like crayons? I don't know. It has that weird smell to it. Uh, that hat, or that loan. Inside, for the most part, everything works. We'll take care of this later, but. All right. Let's take a look at what we'll probably do in this series, right? Like, we're definitely gonna have to, look at the scratches on this. I mean, yeah. we're gonna have to clay and polish for sure. Scratch and scroll city, we'll have that. Uh, wheels, they're not that bad. Pretty simple to clean, but the whole exterior needs love. We're gonna start off with this. All right. First things first is going to be the engine bay. Just because the engine bay has seen better days. So there's different things you want to do whenever you do clean the engine bay. You could remove the engine bay cover. Okay. So I'll put this off to the side. The reason being is it has this type of foam in the back and you actually don't want to really get this wet. Okay. So so you could lightly mist it, but in this occasion, we're just gonna clean up everything at the bottom. There's two things you want to avoid. Anything that's fabric, any exposed electronics and alternators, and anything that is non-waterproof. So let me just grab a towel real quick, and I'm actually gonna be wrapping the alternator. Soil towel, I don't care if it's clean or dirty. We're just covering this so that it doesn't get hit by water, right? Yeah. If it lightly gets hit by water, you'll be fine, but you just don't wanna oversaturate it or over soak it. I already put a towel over it just to prevent water from getting inside the alternator. If you do have an exposed battery, make sure you cover your battery in this occasion where we're not. And of course, any electronics that are not sealed, make sure to cover that. But most likely, all modern vehicles do have sealed electronics. So we are going to be using water. And it's pretty simple to clean up your engine bay. First things first, I already have my pressure washer set up. I also have my Torx Snubby attached. I have my brushes, I have my wheelie wheel brush and my board share detailing brush with water right here. I'll sink that in. Now I'm just lightly going to rinse down the engine bay. <laughs> just, a, just a quiet day in Taurus. After the engine bay has been uh, rinsed down, I will grab my orange degreaser and I will spray it everywhere on the engine bay. Now, what this product is going to do is going to remove any grease stains, oil stains, or any suspended grime that is sitting on the engine bay. So like this is going to be making my cleaning job a lot easier. And I like to be very generous with this product uh, because I'm going to actually allow the product to do the more of the job than myself, especially in the cracks and crevices. And I don't know where this car has been, like I mentioned. Is there yeah. a reason that you want to start here? Yeah, because of course, I'm still gonna clean up the whole car and after, if I come back to the engine bay last, I'm still gonna get splashes everywhere and I'll get water spots. So I just want to prevent all that uh, from happening. So start off with the engine bay, uh, then move your way around. Next up, you guys can see, I do have my big mouth foam cannon. The reason being is I'm actually going to make my job a lot easier. I'm going to be using Mr. Pink, uh, shampoo which is going to allow me to set up this engine bay and it's going to add more lubrication and cleaning power 
but I am using a product that does not contain wax, that does not contain any type of ceramic, because I just want it just to foam a basic wash on the engine bay. So the orange to grease is already sitting on it. I'll grab my Torx Nubby. All I need to do is remove the pressure washer tip. I'll attach my big mouth, and I'm gonna foam up this engine bay. That thing's thick. Yeah. I will also be adding one to two ounces of soap just inside my bucket for extra lubrication. I'll activate it with my fresh washer. Now it's time to actually scrub it down. So I'm actually going to start off with the wheelie wheel brush. The wheelie wheel brush is going to allow me to get into the easy to reach areas. So it looks like uh, Christmas up in here. It's Christmas. It's spring, April. but it looks like winter. I make it snow. And when the wheelie wheel brush, the bristles are super soft. It's not going to allow you to like scratch up any uh, engine bay components. And if you actually do bang up, we think about everything. Plastic on plastic. So like this, you bang up on a wheel, you bang up on an engine bay, you won't harm it. And I want you guys to notice that I'm just actually just going over it lightly. I'm not actually putting a lot of elbow grease into it because I do have a secondary brush that I'll be using just to get into the nooks and crannies. But for the most part, the product, like I mentioned to you guys, the orange, the greaser, the Mr. Pink, is going to do most of the job for me. So like this, I achieve a true clean engine bay. I really just sprayed it, foamed it, scrubbed it, and I'll just re-rinse it and dry it. But first, we need to just lightly scrub it out. If you need to, come back, rinse out your, buck, or your brush, Go back to the engine bay and scrub it right out. But whenever you are cleaning engine bays, be careful with these. There's even a sign right there that says, look, watch your head. Ah, mi cabeza. Just scrub it out. I'm gonna switch over brushes. Now I'm gonna get the board's hair detailing brush to get into the nooks and crannies and anywhere where the other brush could not get into. You could also use these brushes like on your interior. You guys will be seeing a full restoration on this BMW. This BMW came in dirty, but it's going to go ahead and leave clean and pristine. Right now, I think it was valued at 12,000, 14,000. We're gonna to try to get the maximum out of it. So just by doing a detail, it's going to elevate the value of your car because it's going to look like you actually maintained it. So if you're actually selling the car, clean it up restore it, bring it back, and get the best value for your car. All right, now I'm gonna just do one quick pass under here. And I'll lightly rinse this down. Have you ever done an engine bay in your car, Jason? No. You're learning right now. This is it, me and thousands of others. I want you guys to comment down below right now and answer this question. When was the last time you cleaned your engine bay? Or are you the type of person that washes everything and is like, oh, my car is clean and your engine bay is actually dirty? I'll tell you, it's one of those places you don't really think about because it's closed most of the time and you don't go in there. Hey, there's a lot of things that are closed, but people don't see. Yeah. Like your butt crack. Yeah, well, you're not, you should wash that too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one sees it, but you know it's there. Yeah. Now, all we have to do is just rinse it down. That is why I tell you guys to clean up your engine bay. If you guys look at the windshield. Oh boy. But we don't care because if we had cleaned it first, that'd be an issue. Yeah. But since in this occasion, we're still gonna wash it. I don't really care.
Look at that. Now, what we're gonna do is just dry up the, uh, the surface of this uh, engine bay. Then after I dry up as much as possible as I can, I'll get the pro blowout. But one thing at a time. So I'm just gonna clean my car towel. You guys can see the surface is now clean. We're just removing uh, excess water from the engine bay. Oh look, I can actually see the windshield wiper now. The windshield wiper fluid. How much would you pay for a car like this? Now? Now. With a clean engine bay? What did we say, it was 14,000? I'd pay 14,600. If you went to a dealership, if you didn't think about it, every time you go, the engine bay looks brand new. Yeah. Even though it's used, like you could go lease a car, you go buy a car, new used car, and the engine bay, they, that's the first thing people look at. Oh, can I, can I see the engine? Yeah. Can I see it? Unless, unless you buy an electric. Let me see that frunk. And even though the, the towel is still there, like once you're done, grab it, remove it, hang it up. So that could just be like a regular soil towel that you're going to be basically wasting in a sense because you're going to be w w wetting it. So it's either way, it's going to go back in the laundry. So it doesn't matter because you're just covering up electrical components. Now to blow out the nooks and crannies, we'll be using the Pro Blow. Joey, question for you. When you buy a new car, what's the first thing you look at? I'd probably check under the engine. Well, under the cover. Why? Because what if I bought a truck and I wanted a V8 and they replaced it with a six cylinder? How am I gonna explain that to my dad? Now, we're gonna put on the engine cover back on. This off to the side, get my engine bay cover. Boom! That just added 20 more horsepower. Twin power turbo. Twin power turbo. But we're not done. We're actually going to be protecting the, uh, the engine bay even more just to enhance shine and protection back to the engine bay. So let me run over, get black on black, and I'll be right back to show you how to use it on the engine bay. He's getting black on black. We'll be right back. Black on black. We'll be right back. So black on black is our aerosol dressing that's going to allow you to uh, basically dress up your plastics with ease. So you just lightly want to mist it over or you could go ham with it but it's very user friendly. It's completely dry to a touch, and this is just going to enhance shine and the look to your engine bay. So like this, your engine bay looks brand new. Whenever it comes to dressing your engine bay, the last thing that you want to worry about is having to, you know, get into all cracks and crevices trying to get dressing on there, black on black, just give it a nice little mist, you're good to go. Look at that. No applicator needed whatsoever, right Henry? Now, if you're like me that went a little bit overboard with black on black, you don't need to wipe it down. In this occasion, I am just for like, just to lightly wipe it down. But even though I wipe it, wipe it off the surface, it doesn't come off. It stays looking brand new. Uh, it's completely dry to touch. It's not oily. Uh, I just like to give it a light wipe down just so like this. I could actually work the product into the plastic, especially because this engine bay hasn't seen any type of love. Like I mentioned, I believe it came back from an auction. Maybe it was a trap car. Look at that, yay, Sony. So we just finished up, clean up the engine bay. And like I mentioned beforehand, even Jason mentioned it to me or asked me, why should you clean the engine bay first if you are gonna be doing engine bay clean? So you guys can see the, the after already, it looks amazing. We're actually gonna close the hood. That's what ends up happening once you're cleaning your engine bay with water. You might get splashed over. Now we have dried up soap on here or anything. There's still water spots. So now it's time for me to readjust the car so it could be a lot easier for me to work on it. And we'll be moving on to washing, but I'm gonna try to get Joey on here so he could actually wash it. And then we'll be jumping back and forth. Hey, Joey! 